guys, it's me, Robin, our Silent Crafts. This is Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, October 10th, 2017. This is like our favorite time of the year. We got our three favorite holidays right in a row. We love Halloween, we love Thanksgiving and Christmas. I love decorating for them. I believe last week I showed you that Halloween jelly roll I had. I just went a little crazy, not too bad. I tend to make assembly lines so I don't just make one of something. Catch the little peek. I like to make multiples. So I made some Halloween hexagon quilted table toppers. I think these fabrics are really fun. I love just the purples, orange, greens, and stuff like that. The Halloween shades are really nice. So I went ahead and I tried out my 60 degree line on my um, 6 by 24 inch ruler. I, I've never used those lines before. I never understood them, but I figured, hey, I'm a big girl now. I've been quilting for a long time. I should go ahead and figure it out. I went ahead and I did the binding and I hand stitched it to the back. It's fun on a small project like this because it doesn't take as long as a big quilt. I went ahead and just meander quilted all over with an orange thread. And since that one worked out so well and it was so much fun to make, I made another. This time I went with a springtime jelly roll that I found in my stash and I put some green on the back for like grass. Once again I just meandered all over and this time I used a green thread. The sun just went behind the clouds on me. There we go. I used two and a half inch strips for both but this one I used six and this one I just used five. And when you use an odd number, it makes one of the fabrics repeat. And you can just match them up and I thought that was really fun. So, I made another. Surprise, surprise. This time I just went with some easy quilting uh, alongside in the seams of the triangles. This one's got what they call the badges on the back, the Halloween badges, so this one was fun too. Both of these projects came from the same jelly roll, but they look so different. This one almost reminds me of witches' hats. Did I stop there? Of course not! I still had more jelly roll. This one reads more green. I, I just, I don't know, my, my oldest loves lime green and he just kind of got me hooked on it. This one has fun pumpkins on the back. The witch's hat, the pirate's eye, the bandana. You get spiders all over. No binding on these. I didn't want to do the machine stitch binding onto the back because I didn't I didn't want that extra stitching line, the quilting line to show. So I just did the uh, the what that pillowcase method where you just flip it all out and then stitch it all together and then quilted it. Worked out really well. I still have some jelly roll fabric left, so yeah, I'm gonna make one more. Then I think I'm gonna make some for, I don't know if I have any um, like Thanksgiving autumn type fabric, but I know I have Christmas fabric, so I think I'll make a few more for those just because they're fun and they're addictive and they go together really, really quick. If you just have a couple hours, then you know, I think the hardest part was sewing the strip set together. And it's not like if you use even hard, it was just most like time consuming. When I was wandering around on Instagram the other night last week, I saw that there's a couple people hosting a, it's an ornament along. Each week everyone gets together and they just make an ornament. You know, the ornament that everyone makes it together, of course. And last week's was the hexi wreath. And these hexies are made by, you take a circle and then stitch it together to make the hexi. Sorry about the shadows today, but I normally film in the morning and I have a, um, and my window's east facing, so I'm getting a little shadows today. But this is the first one I did, and what you do is you hold two circles together. Well, you sew two circles together, and then you make your hexagons. But it made it, it's, it's a little bulky. So I wanted to try it with just one circle. This one's a lot thinner, but at the same time, then it's, it's a little bit more flexible. And I'm not sure how it would sit on a tree, but it hangs really nicely on the wall. And I'm hanging up here on top of my flamingo quilt that sits up there on the uh, pins really nice. 
These would work really well in a Christmas card. It's nice and flat. Now, I put, uh, I put jingle bells on mine, but if you skip the bells, it would sit in there and it would stay within the less than a quarter inch, I believe is what the post office for first, uh, first class it has to be less than a quarter inch. So these were kind of fun. I'm probably not going to make this week's ornament because they're doing the uh, that pine cone where you take a styrofoam egg and you fold your fabric into a where you take it and you fold your fabric into a prairie point and then you use those little itty bitty applique pins to stick it all over the egg. I've made those before. They're too fiddly for me, so I don't I don't have a need for those. I'm skipping that one. Hopefully next week it'll be a good one. Once again, this week's project will be to sew these, uh, these old bones down to this fabric. I got a little, um, I'm a little overzealous with the hexagon table toppers, and I never made it to my skeleton. He's going to have to be my main priority this week, because Halloween's coming. It's only three weeks away. What, today's the 10th, so it's 21 days away, and I want to have him done this year. I don't want to put him away again for next year. So wish me luck that I get something done on this guy this week. He's also going to need a name, and I'm open for suggestions. Anyone got any? When it comes to naming quilts, I'm really bad at that. So I can use all the help I can get. Alright, we'll see you guys next week. Bye!